Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be creating a very basic repeating seamless tile pattern to be used in video games. We're going to go kind of res low resolution here, but a lot of what we're going to do is going to apply to higher resolution stuff as well. Right here we have a texture. It's just an image I took with my cell phone of a close-up of a tile out in my living room. Uh, it's not the best for what we're working with. When you're doing this, you want to try to get your lighting even. Uh, as you can see, it's darker on the right side than it is on the left side because of where the light, uh, where the window is in my living room. Uh, but we're going to make this work. Uh, we're going to use some tools to make this a seamless pattern. Uh, so we have that. That's going to be our texture. Let's go ahead and start creating our first tile. Uh, Control N to create a new image, and we're going to make it 64 by 64 pixels. Under Advanced, we're going to go uh, Fill with Transparency. Okay, again, our tiles are going to be rather low resolution here. We're working with video game stuff, so you don't want to go too high unless you're, you know, want a hog of a game. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to select our rectangular tool here. And I'm just going to eyeball select one pixel on the right side, and then shift select one pixel on the bottom side. This is going to be where our grout is. If we were going higher resolution, we would probably create a grout texture to put in there. But since we're going so small, it's only one pixel wide, uh, you're not going to see that texture. So I'm just going to use this gray color I already have picked. I'm going to select my fill bucket tool and make sure I have foreground color fill. And then I'm going to click in here. And now you can see we have this gray and that's going to be our, our grout. You're actually not going to see it very much, but that's where it's going to be. Uh, now I control A, control C to copy that, and you may or may not know this, but in GIMP, once you select something, that can be used as a fill pattern for your fill bucket, as long as the resolution isn't too high on it. And again, we're only working with 64 pixels by 64 pixels here. I'm going to hit control N to create a new image. I'm going to go 640 by 640, which will give us 10 tiles by 10 tiles. And we're actually going to trim off some later on. You'll see, but I'm going to make that background transparent. Click OK. And here I have this blank image. So do not to be confused, this is the one we just had with the grout. This is one 10 times that size. I have my fill bucket tool uh, selected and I'm gonna go down here to pattern fill. Click on here and I'm gonna choose this top left one and it should say clipboard image. And now if I click in here, you can see that we have a 10 by 10 tile grout that we have created. Now we're gonna go back to our texture here. Control A, Control C to select all and copy. Go back to our grid pattern here and Control V to paste that. Now our image, our texture is much bigger than what we're creating. So we're gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm going to hit uh, Shift T for transform. And I'm gonna hold down Shift and I'm gonna scale this just so it's just a little bit. I'm holding down Shift so it keeps its aspect and ratio here. And we're gonna scale down until it's just a little bit larger than our grid transform. We can zoom back in now. And I want to get rid of the excess here, which would use our crop tool. And over here, we can select our crop tool, which is supposed to look like a knife of some sort. And I have no clue where it is <laughs> because they've changed these monochrome uh, icons, which a lot of people seem to really like. I think they look great, but they're annoying because everything's the same color, which makes it a lot harder to find what you're looking for. But I use keyboard shortcuts most of the time. Now that I got my little rant about the icons over with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift C to get our crop tool up. And then I'm just going to select around the outside and hit Enter, and that crops away all the excess. Uh, we're also going to check our floating layer here and make that a new layer. And now we're going to make this a seamless pattern, because again, it's darker on this side and lighter on this side, and it's not going to match up with the pattern. So with that, we're going to Control A to select all, filter, and we're going to go down to map and we're gonna do Tile Seamless. And you may have not noticed it changed, but it did, we're gonna click OK. Basically what it did was it took a feathered copy of this image and put it in each corner of this image, making it seamless. Uh, you can do this with a texture like this. Obviously you can't do that with something that actually has detail that you would notice. But something like this is just like a random pattern. It does it, it's not perfect, but it's a quick way to get it done simply. Uh, let's go ahead and label our layers. I'm going to call this one uh, grout, and I'm going to call this one texture one, and I'm going to move texture one underneath our texture two here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select our grout layer, and I'm going to choose this tool here, which is select, uh, actually I'm going to select this one, uh, the little wand, and with the grout selected, I'm going to select in the empty, one of the empty tiles. Now I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna select every other tile, okay? So let me show you uh, the first thing I tried when I was trying to do this. 
I selected this tool, which selects all one color. I selected um, all these. Then I went to our texture here, and I said filters, decor, bevel, and I clicked OK, thinking it would add a bevel to each one of these. And it does add somewhat of a bevel, but then it, it, it's not what I thought it would do. Uh, so there's a little bit of a bevel in there, but not very much. You'll see a difference. Plus, we have this bright white at the top, like lights hitting it, and we're going to still get that in the other pattern, but not as bad, and we're going to crop it away anyway. And we're going to hit Control z to undo that a couple times. So now I'm back to our plane. We have our texture here, which is a seamless pattern, and our grout layer. I'm going to choose my grout layer. I'm going to choose this wand selection tool and click the top left square here. This part's the most tedious part. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to select every other square and then go diagonal and select every other square. And we're going to do that for our entire image. A little daunting, but not too bad. And you'll see doing it this way for whatever reason it is, gives us a much better tile look to our tiles. Now, we're going to go up to filters and we're going to go back down to decor and bevels. I'm going to make sure I have unchecked work on copy and bump layer. I don't want those things. I'm going to just click OK. And now, <laughs> Control Z to undo that. We have to check our textured layer now before we add our bevel. So we have all our every other square selected, our texture. Now we're going to go down to the core bevel, click OK, and there we go. We have these nice uh, bevels. If I select all, you can see it very nice. And that's a pretty cool looking pattern right there if you want to use that as a texture. But we don't want uh, every other tile to be higher for what we're doing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select our grout again. Again, our wand tool, I'm going to select this second tile here and then shift select every other tile to choose those. In reality, I might have been, I haven't tried this, after selecting all the other ones and adding the bevel, I um, select, I hit control A to select all to show you what it looked like. You might have been able to hit control I to uh, invert the selection and that might have saved you from this second little clicking every other pattern. But now that we have that, not forgetting to choose our texture first, going to filters, and again, decor, add bevel, OK. And now we have our tile pattern. Again, the, the grout that we put in there originally is almost unseen, but we have this nice tile. It looks like uh, small little tiles you might have in a shower or something. Uh, and it is seamless and repeating except for this bevel. Again, the top layer of the bevel seems to have more lighting, if you want to call that, than the other ones. So if I was to take this and um, uh, Control Shift E to export it, and I'm going to put it inside here, I'm just going to call it uh, TT1 PNG, just to give it a name. Now, if I was to go over to my shell, and you can see that I'm in that same folder. And what I'm using is a part of the Image Magic program is I'm going to say uh, montage. And that, what that allows you to do is to put images together. I'm going to put that same image in there four times. So it's going to give us a, four, uh, a two by two grid of the image we just created. Uh, geometry plus zero plus zero background none. Uh, so that there's, it's, instead of it filling a color. And we're going to just do an output called tiles.png. So to do that, it should only take a second. And now I can go back to GIMP and Control O, I can open up that image. And you can see this is now this image as a four by four. And actually, uh, I was worried that you would see where the pattern was repeating. And I was going to crop some off, but it looks like that's not an issue. I think that might have been an issue with the old way before selecting every other tile technique. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is a repeating pattern because if you look at like this tile here, you can see that's the same as the tile over here, and this tile here is the same as that tile there, and of course, this tile, this tile, this tile, and this tile are all the same tile. But I'm thinking it's pretty good because you can't really tell uh, that it's repeating too bad. Um, so that is a technique to creating a repeating tile pattern. I will um, save this and put a link to the files in the description of this video if I don't forget. I do thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was, you know, pretty simple and you can use this, you know, I use the one tile, but you can should be able to do this 
with a lot of different textures. So you can make a repeating tile like this with different textures on it. Um, and it can be used in 2D games or as textures in 3D games. You know, if you want, you can go higher resolution than what we did. Um, but for a simple little 2D game, this is definitely a pattern that can be used or even, a, you know, a lower resolution uh, 3D game. Uh, I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. Check it out. There's a link in the description of that. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.